Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about absolute extrema. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, y equals x to the third power plus 6x squared plus 9x plus 3, and we want to find all points of absolute minima and maxima on our closed interval from negative 4 to 0. Now, I first want to find my derivative, so f prime of x here. Let's use our power rule. 3 comes down, 3x squared, subtract the exponent by 1. 2 times 6 is 12. 12x, subtract the exponent by 1, is 1. And then plus just the 9. The rest, derivative constant, is 0. We take our derivative and we set it equal to 0 and solve to find our critical values. 3x squared plus a 12x plus a 9 equals 0. From there, we can pull out a 3 from our, all parts here, 3x squared plus a 4x, 3 out of 12 is 4, and plus 3 out of 9 is, well, 3. Now, we divide up both sides by that 3 here, and well, that kind of cancels it. So we have an x squared plus 4x plus 3 equals 0, and that can factor. Okay. Now, we factor it here. Two numbers multiply by 3, but add to be 4, or a 1, and a 3, being positive. We set both of those equal to 0, x plus 1 equals 0, and you know how to do this. And solve. x equals a negative 1, and x equals a negative 3. Now, we first now want to check, are both of these within our interval? And yes, they are. Okay, so since both are in our interval, these critical values, and we have a closed interval from negative 4 and 0 here, we need to check all the values, the critical values we found, as well as the endpoints there. Okay, so to do that, we have our f of negative 1, and uh, what's the order? f, I did a negative 3, I did it out of order here, f of negative 4, and f of 0 f of negative 1 came out to be a negative 1, f of negative 3 came out to be a positive 3, again plugging into our original equation. f of negative 4 is negative 1, and f of 0 is a positive 3. Notice we have repetition here, our two lowest values and our two highest values are the same. And so in this case our absolute minima and maxima have two answers for each. Our absolute minimum is a negative 4 comma negative 1 and a negative 1 comma of a negative 1. Our absolute maximum has the two points of 0 comma 3, that's a 3, and a negative 3 comma a positive 3. And so again our final answer here is absolute minima at negative 4 comma negative 1 and negative 1 comma negative 1, as well as our absolute maxima at 0 comma 3 and negative 3 comma 3. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.